In January of 1946, Yugoslavia adopted a communist government aligned with the Soviet Union, ushering in a new political and military era. This shift allowed Yugoslavia to establish strong ties with the Soviet Empire, both politically and militarily. One of the significant outcomes of this relationship was Yugoslavia's acquisition of a local production license for the Soviet T-72 main battle tank, MBT. The T-72, a highly successful design introduced in 1971, would go on to be the foundation for Yugoslavia's own version of the tank, the M84. The T-72 was initially designed by the Soviet Union as a cost-effective counterpart to the more advanced and expensive T-64, which was issued only to elite units within the Red Army. Unlike the T-64, the T-72 was designed for mass production and export, with over 25,000 units produced worldwide. It became one of the most widely used tanks of its era. The Soviet Union's success in exporting the T-72 extended to countries in Eastern Europe, where local production was established in Poland and Czechoslovakia. Yugoslavia, which had shifted its political allegiance after World War II, received a production license in the 1970s and began work on its own variant. Design work on the Yugoslav M84 began in 1979 and continued until 1983. By 1982, prototypes of the tank were being tested, and in 1984, the M84 was officially introduced into service. The M84 maintained many of the core design elements of the T-72, including the distinctive shallow profile, the two-man turret, and the use of six rubber-tired road wheels on a torsion bar suspension system. These features allowed for excellent cross-country mobility, and the tank's top road speed was 68 km per hour, with a range of up to 700 km. The M84 retained the T-72's powerful 125mm smoothbore main gun, capable of firing a variety of projectiles, including armor-piercing, high-explosive, and guided anti-tank missiles. One of the key features that set the M84 apart from its Soviet counterpart was its local modifications. The Yugoslavian engineers improved the tank's fire control system, FCS, and upgraded its 780-horsepower engine to a 1,000-horsepower diesel engine. The addition of a locally developed FCS enhanced the accuracy and operational effectiveness of the M84, making it a formidable opponent on the battlefield. The M84 also saw improved armor protection, with the incorporation of composite alloys, as well as side skirt armor to protect the upper portion of the tracks. The tank's auto-loader mechanism, inherited from the T-72, reduced the crew size from 4 to 3, comprising a commander, gunner, and driver. The reduced crew size, a hallmark of Soviet tank designs, allowed the tank to operate more efficiently and effectively. In terms of armament, the M84 was equipped with both a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and a 12.7mm heavy machine gun mounted on the commander's cupola for anti-aircraft defense. The tank could carry up to 42 rounds of 125mm ammunition and also featured smoke grenade dischargers to provide cover in combat situations. Production of the M84 continued from 1984 until 1991, with a total of 652 units produced. A notable feature of the M84 was its export success, with the Kuwaiti army receiving fewer than 200 units in the late 1980s. However, the political landscape of Yugoslavia began to change dramatically with the collapse of the Soviet Union and the onset of the Yugoslav Wars in the 1990s. The breakup of Yugoslavia led to the division of its tank fleet among the newly independent nations. Serbia, Croatia, and Bosnia-Herzegovina all inherited stocks of M84 tanks, leading to a series of upgrades and modifications tailored to their specific needs. The Serbian M84 as variant, introduced in 2004, was a major upgrade, featuring an enhanced fire control system, new armor schemes, and the addition of the Agava 2 thermal imaging system. The M84 has also included a more powerful 1,200 horsepower engine and was equipped to fire the Russian-made AT-11 sniper anti-tank guided missile. One of the most important upgrades was the integration of the Storob countermeasure system, which helps protect the tank from incoming anti-tank guided missiles, mirroring the features of Russia's T-90S. Meanwhile, Croatia developed its own versions of the M84, starting with the M84A4 sniper. This upgrade featured an improved fire control system, new optics, and a 1,100 horsepower engine. The M84A4 became the new standard for the Croatian army. More recently, Croatia has been working on the M84D, which includes explosive reactive armor, ERA blocks and a remote weapon station, RWS, on the commander's cupola. 
The RWS allows the crew to operate the machine gun from within the safety of the tank, a significant improvement in crew protection. Additionally, Croatia has been working on a successor to the M84, the M95 Degman, which is an entirely new design built upon the M84's foundation. The M95 features an advanced composite and reactive armor system, though only two prototypes were completed as of 2012. Despite the limited production, the M95 is seen as an ambitious attempt to modernize and improve upon the M84's capabilities. The M84 saw action during the Yugoslav Wars of the 1990s, where it faced a variety of combat scenarios, from urban warfare to guerrilla tactics. While it was effective in many engagements, the tank faced significant challenges, particularly when used without adequate infantry support, leaving it vulnerable to rocket-propelled grenades, RPGs, and other anti-tank weapons. This vulnerability to close-range attacks was a lesson shared by many modern tank fleets, including Russia's T-80s during the First Chechen War. The Kuwaiti Army, which had purchased M-84 tanks before the Persian Gulf War in 1991, also had limited use of the tanks in frontline combat due to their resemblance to the T-72, which was targeted by coalition forces. Despite this, Kuwait eventually procured 149 M-84 tanks, with some being equipped as command tanks. The M-84 remains a significant part of the military history of the Balkans. From its origins as a Soviet T-72 derivative to its evolution into a symbol of post-Yugoslav military innovation, the M-84 has been continuously modified and upgraded to meet the changing demands of modern warfare. With its successful adaptation by countries like Serbia and Croatia, the M-84 has ensured that the legacy of Yugoslavia's military industry lives on, even as its political landscape continues to evolve. While the M-84's combat history was marked by the tumultuous conflicts of the 1990s, its design and adaptability continue to inspire tank development in the region. Whether as a battlefield powerhouse or as a symbol of national resilience, the M-84 remains an integral piece of the military heritage of the former Yugoslavia.